Itong slope deflection method, ginagamit ito sa pag-solve ng mga continuous beam. Pag merong continuous beam or frames na subjected sa external loadings, yung internal moment, usually dito sa dulo ng members na de-develop. So kung paano natin kukunin yung MAB at MBA, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. So kung paano na-derive to, ni-relate nila yung end moments dun sa end rotation, pati na dun sa cord rotation. Itong cord rotation, magkakaroon nito pagka merong support settlement. Ibig sabihin, pag nagkaroon ng support settlement, magkakaroon ng deformed position itong member AB. At yung positive sign convention ng internal moments, so ganito yung itsura ng rotation. Ito yung problem natin. Hanapin natin yung reactions dito sa mga supports. So, ang una natin gagawin, identify natin yung degree of freedom. So, dahil itong point A at point B ay fixed support, so walang rotation dito, dito sa point B at point C meron. Meron tayong dalawang degree of freedom. Next, itong equation ng equilibrium. So, dahil equilibrium itong buong structure, dapat yung member sa bawat joint ay equilibrium din. So, pwede natin sabihin na MBA plus M B B or B C equal to zero. Saka yung M C e B plus M C e B equal to zero. Sunod, itong fixed end moment. So sa fixed end moment, titreat natin yung bawat member na nakafix. So kunwari dito sa member A B, so, nakafix to. Ito yung uniform load, W. Ito yung para sa member BC. So, naka-fix. Tapos, ito yung concentrated load, L over 2. Ito naman yung para sa member C. May mga nakaderive na na formula para sa fixed end moment. So, pag sa uniform distributed load, WL square over 12. Pag concentrated load naman at nasa gitna siya ng span, ang fix and moment na ito, PL over 8. Dito naman sa member CD, so dahil walang load, walang moment. Ano natin yung MAB? WL square over 12. So, 1.5 times 20 square over 12 equal to 58 feet. So, MBA negative 1.5 20 square over 12 negative 50 feet. So, kung bakit naging negative to, sabi ko kanina dun sa member AB, Yung positive sign convention, dito sa MAB, clockwise, dito sa MBA, clockwise din. And itong free or itong fixed end moment dito, counterclockwise siya. So, naging negative sa MBA. At itong MBC, equal to sa PL over 8. So, 30 times 20 over 8, equal to 75 it, it, MCB equal to negative 75 if fit. At itong MCD at MDC parehas tong 0 dahil walang load dito sa member CD. Next, itong slope deflection equation. So, itong naka-red na box. So, MAB 
equal to 2EI. So, 2EI over yung L, 20, para sa member AB, times 2 theta A. Itong theta A, dahil naka-fix ang point A, so 0 to. Plus theta B, minus 3 times yung chord rotation. So, yung formula ng chord rotation, delta over L. So, dahil wala tayong support settlement, so 0 din to. Plus yung FEM ng AB, 50 feet. Pag sinimplify natin to, 0 0.1 theta B, EI, plus 50. Next, yung MBA. So, 2EI over 20 times theta A. So, 0 theta A plus 2 theta B minus 3 times 0 minus 50 feet. So, pag sinimplify natin to, 0 0.2 theta B minus 50. Sa MBC naman, ito pa rin yung gagamitin natin na formula. Papalitan lang natin ito ng subscript. So, MBC tsaka MCB. Itong slope deflection equation, ang general formula talaga nito, MNF at MFN. So, ibig sabihin ng N ay near. Ang F naman, far. So, equal to sa 2EI over 20 times 2 theta B plus theta C plus 75. Simplify 0 0.2 theta B plus 0 0.1 theta C plus 75. MCB so 2EI over 20 times theta B plus 2 theta C minus 75. Pag sinimplify ito, 0 0.1 theta B plus 0 0.2 theta C minus 75. Sunod itong MCD, so 2EI over L. Yung L na itong CB ay 15 times 2 theta C plus theta D. So 0 to minus 0 plus Yung FEM ng uh, MCB, so FEM na ito, MCB, 0, FEM ng DC, 0. So, dahil walang load sa member CB. So, zero. so pag sinimplify ito, 0 0.267 theta C. Itong MCB or DC is equal to 2EI over 15 times theta C. So, pag sinimplify ito, 0 0.1333 theta C. Next, solve natin yung theta B at yung theta C. Gamit yung equilibrium equation na MBA plus MBC equal to 0. So, yung nakuha natin sa slope deflection equation, MBA is equal to 0. 2 theta B minus 50 plus itong MBC na 0 0.2 theta B plus 0 0.1 theta C plus 75 equal to 0. So, pag sinimplify natin to 0 0.4 theta B plus 0 0.1 theta C plus 25 equal to 0. So, ito yung unang equation. Next, itong MCB plus MCD equal to 0. So, MCB 0 0.1 theta B plus 0 0.2 theta C minus 75 plus itong MCD 0 0.267 theta C equal to 0. So, simplify ito, 0 0.1 theta B plus 0 0.467 theta C 
minus 75 equal to 0. So, ito yung pangalawang equation. So, meron tayong two equations, two unknown. Makusolve natin yung theta b at theta c. So, theta b, negative 108.46 over ei. Yung theta c, 183.82 over ei. Sunod so, itong theta b at theta c. Lalagay natin dito sa slope deflection equation para makuha natin yung mga value ng mga moments. So pag nalagay natin itong theta b at theta c dun sa slope deflection equation, makukuha na natin yung mga internal moments. So MAB is equal to 39.154, MBA negative 71.9, MBC, 71.69. MCB, negative 49.08. MCD, 49.08. MDC, 24.45. Unit nito, keep fit. Modulus of elasticity pala ng beam na to ay 29,000. KSI, moment of inertia, 500 inches, raised to the fourth. So, para masolve natin yung reactions, kailangan natin yung blow up ng structure. I-analyze natin to per member. Para sa member AB, summation of moment, sa point A is equal to 0, clockwise positive. So, makukuha natin na shear sa BA is equal to 16.63 hips. Summation of forces y is equal to 0. Shear AB is equal to 13.37 hips. Para sa BC, summation of moment sa point B is equal to 0. Shear CB is equal to 16 or 13.87 hips. Summation of forces y is equal to 0. Here BC is equal to 16.13 hips. Para sa member CD, summation of moment sa point C is equal to 0. Here DC is equal to negative 4.9 hips. So, direction nito, pababa sa point C. Summation of forces y is equal to 0. Here CD is equal to 4.9. Para makuha yung reaction sa point B, kailangan natin ni plus yung shear ng BA at BC. At yung reaction sa point C, kailangan natin ni plus yung shear sa CB at CD. So ito na yung mga reaction ng beam.